So today I've got an unexpected video. Well, an unexpected product, not one I thought I'd be featuring at this point right now. And one that I'm intrigued by because I think it might represent the best value Apple product being sold in 2023. And that's based on a little bit of research. I've done some videos that I've watched. I'm talking about these right here. This is the USB-C ear pods. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how can that be exciting? Look, Lou, I'm, I, I also like the fact that they went to USB Type-C, but it's really not that exciting. Well, it kind of is. And the reason being is the price point. They came out with this headset and I also wish it was included in the package, but it's not. They're selling it for 19 bucks. And it's got universal compatibility because of that USB-C. And it's got the capability of listening to lossless audio, which some really expensive AirPods are not capable of doing. Plus, in many ways, this wired headset is superior to a wireless one. The inline microphone sits near your mouth, and so many of us work on our computers and do tons of video conferencing, and I understand the convenience of having no wires, but actually, I think this one's gonna sound a lot better as far as the microphone is concerned as well. All for 19 bucks, could this be? the ultimate backup to your AirPods. Could it sound even better? That's what we're gonna find out today. The universal aspect is the other thing that I like about this. Windows, laptops, desktops, iPads that feature USB Type-C and obviously MacBooks as well. So let's go ahead and unbox what might be Apple's best value product in 2023. Now the reason it's capable of lossless audio delivery is because there's a built-in DAC. And that's the case on a number of USB-C headsets, but it's nice to see Apple embrace it as well. Honestly, the appearance of these things, uh, not very special. They look like a pair of ear pods and man, maybe many of you haven't even seen these in a while. We have some sets laying around here with the traditional 3.5 mil connector. And then obviously we've had lightning at some point in there and a whole variety of adapters, but how clean is that just one singular Type-C connector with built-in DAC. Now, the actual units are a little bit smaller than what you're used to on your AirPods or certainly your AirPods Pro. This is a more traditional look, fits into the ear like this. The nice thing is they're extremely lightweight and you'll never have to charge them. So even if you just got it as a backup on your desk when your AirPods are dead, slap these in enjoy that increased fidelity, possibly. I was talking to Will before we shot this video about the fact that sometimes I find myself on a video conference for an extended period, like hours, and I'll have one AirPod die and I'm charging one, replacing it with the other. And if I just slap this thing into the MacBook, it would be a lot easier, one singular cable. Now here's something else you can do with this brand new headset if you pick one up. You can go ahead and check out our sponsor over at BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you with a therapist and you can interact online in the comfort of your own home and get the help that you need. Everybody has stressful times in their lives and it can't be all work, work, work all the time. You can kind of overlook some of the things that are going on with you and you might need to get to know yourself better. That's where therapy can kick in and help, hence the name, better help. See, I've talked in the past about how I struggle myself with things like procrastination, moments where you feel like maybe your own brain is getting in your own way, and that's where therapy can help. Therapists can help you discover some of those barriers and then help you to overcome them. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You fill out a brief questionnaire and then you get matched up with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge, and that's key because you wanna find the right fit. And since there's such a huge selection of BetterHelp, chances are you're gonna be able to do that. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash unbox therapy today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash unbox therapy. Here's the iPad. Here's a MacBook Pro, but these will work just fine with any MacBook featuring USB Type-C. I've got, as well, the iPhone 15 Pro over there, and then I'm also gonna bring into frame a Windows laptop from HP because this should work just fine with that as well. But first, let's slap it into the MacBook Pro. I'll go ahead and unlock. Now, I have Apple Music queued up 
which of course is capable of delivering lossless audio. I'll just click on this little icon here. You can see lossless 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Now there are different audio quality settings and this setting is probably not enabled by default for good reason. You're probably not having a listening chain that's gonna benefit from it. So high quality is the default and that's gonna deliver 256 kilobits per second AAC. So there has been a lot of talk and chatter about an individual's ability to even discern the difference when it comes to lossless audio without a bunch of outboard equipment. We'll see if that's warranted, if I can even tell the difference on Apple Music here, but the setting is in there and it's no different, by the way, for your other variety of devices. So if I go into my settings on the iPad, lossless files preserve every detail of the original audio, Turning this on will consume significantly more data, as we'd expect, another reason it's likely not enabled by default. Now, what happens if I take this out and plug it into an iPhone? Is it the exact same experience? It should be. We plug it in, EarPods comes up as our default selection. It's the same thing in the settings menu here. I head over to music, audio quality, lossless audio toggle, Cellular streaming has its own setting here on your phone. So depending on if you want to prioritize data consumption or audio quality, you have your options here. So I'm going to go ahead and stream lossless. And what if you have an Android device? Because maybe you just want a $19 backup headset that will work with all of your different phones or gadgets. So I plug it in, in the Android side. You can see it has brought up the headset immediately and I have my adjustment for it. Now, one thing people had stated was that the headset's a little bit louder on iOS than it is on Android. But like a lot of benefit here is just having the wire, like you're not dealing with Bluetooth, so you're just getting a clean signal here. Obviously Bluetooth has come a long way, but it, the, the clarity, if you haven't listened on a wire in a while, which I'm pretty sure is a lot of people, it can, it can kind of surprise you. And this is, again, on an Android device, YouTube music, unintended usage, and certainly not lossless. Totally satisfying on the Android device. I think it's gonna get stepped up a little bit as we move to our iOS devices here. And it also just reminds me to celebrate the fact that Apple is so done with that lightning connector. Okay, let me plug into the MacBook now. But before I toggle the lossless setting, I'm gonna listen first just in high quality AAC 256. Oh, tons of volume here. It is important to know the AirPods Pro are still gonna have the advantage in design and noise canceling. You have interchangeable ear tips that are gonna sit further in your ear canal, which are gonna allow for a, a greater seal, which then increases the perception of that bass response. So they can't really compete on every characteristic. It would be interesting to see what would happen if Apple put out a truly high-end version of a wired headphone using USB Type-C and a built-in DAC. This is not what they're trying to do here. This is kind of like an under the radar, hey, we'll give you a decent headset for 19 bucks. If they tried to do a high-end headphone, like kind of I think what people were hoping for with the AirPods Max, which by the way also doesn't support lossless, even if you buy their expensive cable. It would, that would be interesting to see with their level of integration and so forth. But this, this sounds really good, honestly. Like amazing what you can get for 19 bucks. It brings into question big time all this like extended expenditure on headphones. I get it. There's different styles and features. And if you're on an airplane, you got no noise cancellation. And like, what is that, that, you, that kind of return on investment is kind of crazy in the headphone area. You're like, these sound pretty good for 19 bucks, but yeah, you can easily spend 250 bucks. But you get rid of this right here, this little nuisance known as the wire. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna click lossless. Mmm. Yeah. Like, okay, this, this is tough because I feel like there might be some Apple Music magic going on here where they're like, ooh, they clicked lossless. Let's like, let's hit them with a slight little volume increase because sometimes that stuff can trick you into believing you're hearing better quality, but you're just getting more of a boost. These are loud. They're hitting you. Uh, when you click that lossless button, all of a sudden those, those vocals come right to the forefront. Kind of incredible with this simple setup. Let's see if the phone is comparable. Is it, am I gonna get the exact same experience? I'm gonna play the same song. I've toggled lossless here. 
it sounds good, but the laptop is pumping differently, for sure. I'll take it, $19 wired, wired headset on, on here. Let's see if the iPad plays any different. Best $19 you can spend at Apple. Best $19, man, especially if you hook it up like this, I think the MacBook as well. I don't know what's up with the phone. The phone is lacking a little bit at the moment. Could it be software just came out? iPhone 15, I don't know. Is it protecting my hearing? Maybe it's protecting my hearing. Is that a setting? Scroll down to headphone safety and you can reduce loud audio, but that's not what was going on there. The iPad and the MacBook on this software, this is updated to the most recent 17.1 at the moment. But these two sound like on par, and then this one is like the step down. And so is the S23, by the way, so. I just wanna make sure that this works on Windows as well. Just off YouTube, no Apple Music. Simple, you, I didn't have to toggle anything, just plug and go. I am pretty satisfied with this. I think for 19 bucks, just real quick, I just wanna do a quick AB with the AirPods Pro, far more expensive earbuds, obviously but different technology. We're dealing with wireless, we're dealing with Bluetooth, we've got noise canceling, we've got transparency, we've got some much higher tech activity going on. But what we can't do is take advantage of that lossless setting on Apple Music. There we go. Now we have noise canceling turned on, so obviously I hear my surroundings a lot less. Plus, I've got the sealed off effect of having the in-ear style headphone and I have a much more expensive unit as well. I can describe the difference to you. The, the low end here is more punchy. It's, there's, there's, there's more density there, but the clarity and kind of like intimacy of feeling like, whoa, that sound is right there is more prevalent on the, the wired earbuds with the lossless setting. For a certain listening preference, these might even be superior comparatively. If you're heavy into bass and you've heard what these sound like or, you like over ear headphones that have tons of bass reproduction. And then if I do need to get some work done and utilize this microphone, it's sitting right here beside my mouth. So this is an audio recording utilizing the wired microphone on the new $19 Apple USB-C ear pods. Yeah, so that sounds great. Now let's go ahead and do a similar recording using the AirPods Pro. This is a recording using the AirPods Pro built-in microphone. Should give you an idea of what to expect if you're doing a video conference utilizing the built-in microphone on the AirPods instead of the new USB-C EarPods. This is a recording using the AirPods Pro built-in microphone. I mean, it's night and day. It's night and day. Everybody, people, people are gonna... Uh, Imagine what you're putting people through using your, your wireless AirPods for your conferencing. It's not something people talk about a lot or test a lot. Totally worth having the wire there and not needing to worry about any type of battery life, at least at the bare minimum for those extended online meetings where you're gonna be talking a lot, whether that happens to be into the iPad, the MacBook, or the iPhone. All right, so there you have it. You guys tell me what you think. Is this the best value Apple product? Or can you think of another one that's worth mentioning in the comments section? I think for 19 bucks, it delivers on its promise. Maybe more affordable type C headsets out there, but I'm not sure that they sound this good. I'd probably have to do a lot of digging in order to uncover it. And besides, normally the reason you would avoid the Apple version is because you want universal compatibility, but you don't have to worry about that here because this guy works with Android, it works with Windows. And if you use Apple Music in the lossless setting, then these might even deliver a better experience than your far more expensive AirPods, obviously at the expense of having the wire. So that's that, Apple's latest EarPods for 2023 featuring my favorite connector of the moment, USB Type-C.